Welcome back to my channel, Dirty Addicts. I am back with uh, the first of several Alto bag unboxings. Gotta apologize uh, for the noise in the background. The boys are watching a movie. Um, this is the Dooney and Berg Paola, Paola Oyster bag. And this bag just kind of caught my attention during the 12 days of doing it. It's one that I kind of had my eye on and the color oyster was absolutely perfect. I know that I've got several bags in that color now. Uh, and then that taupe natural mushroomy color family. But it just seems to be working for me right now. So this one will not be any different so let's take a look here and just from looking at the straps and this lighting is really not doing any justice because it almost has a blush tone to the leather but this is the bag there's the back the sides and of course there's a noticeable difference in the grain on the back of the bag and on the side in the front it has that over exaggerated zipper that connects to the side of the bag but is extended and it does that on both sides it has the Dooney and Burke Alto hang tag and it has a double strap, which is great. Double zipper pulls, and the zippers actually do go all the way down on the side, so it is an extremely wide mouth bag. The bag has a slip pocket, and the slip pocket is actually behind the zip pocket in this particular bag. And then on the front, of the slip pocket there is a zipper pocket it's not very deep uh, but there is a slip po a zipper pocket on the front of the slip there is a ID a card holder in this case it has the Alto ID card in it the interior is trimmed in the Alto leather but it has the red cotton twill lining and Let's just kind of take a look at the rest of the bag. It has the smaller cell phone pocket there. No key keeper. Very much a slouchy bag. Let's just, but it will stay in, and that is empty. Great stitch work on the outside of the bag. That's more of a a loose stitch and uh, that's more of a thread than it is a leather whip stitch no feet under the bottom of the bag but you can tell it has a nice base on the bottom of the bag and that stitch work continues throughout the frame on both the front and the rear of the bag so this is going to be kind of a everyday grab and go uh we'll you know work with everything from a color palette standpoint and there on the front it has the Dooney and burke stamp for the embossing so that is it for the very first one Yeah, she's not going to stand, but that's fine. I got her knowing that she was going to be very slouchy and would not be able to hold her shape. So if you're looking for the ID number for the bag and the color, there's that information there. And... Any additional information that you may need from the back of the card here. I 
Let's see if we can get it to focus. All right, that's it. Thank you so very much for watching. Until next time, I do hope that you're finding something that feeds your Dooney addiction. Take care.